Greetings all, Dave and e here, your Santa Fe guy, and I hope you'll stick with me as I take a little adventure up the mountain towards the Santa Fe Ski Basin. You're hanging with Dave and e. And it's an incredibly busy day here on the plaza. Lots and lots of people out and about. Many of them are masked. Still, I'm um, surprised to see this many people. Looks like our tourist industry might just bounce back pretty quick here. There's the St. Francis Cathedral ahead. It's got a lot of interesting history behind it. The St. Francis Cathedral is actually unfinished. It, you notice that those, those two kind of columns don't have any spires. And uh, Santa Fe did order spires for those columns from France. Uh, and I, they never arrived. Probably sank in transit or something like that. I, I'm not sure how the exact story goes. If, if anybody knows the answer, please put it in the comments below. Please let me take a second here and uh, just give thanks to all of my viewers, all of my subscribers. I really appreciate your comments in the comments section on my videos. Really very grateful when you share my content on your social media pages. And a uh, big, big thank you to my financial supporters, more than one of you see fit to make financial contributions to my work and I'm really grateful for that. It really helps me keep going and gives me a lot of courage and enthusiasm to just keep producing for you guys. So thank you so much for that. And, uh, stick with me in the future. Uh, I'll try to bring you even more and even better content. Buying, uh, investing in better equipment and uh, trying to spend more time doing this. So, thank you very much. I have a message for the entire human race about religion. In ancient times, well, Anthropologists know that all ancient cultures practice some kind of religion or some kind of superstition. And our modern society has chipped away at that a little bit. So, you know, whereas 100% of all primitive cultures believe in some kind of, you know, spirit or God or something, uh, in educated, civilized, quote-unquote, society, uh, it's about 87 percent. 87 percent of you out there believe in God or a ghost or an afterlife or astrology or prayer or some kind of supernatural belief. The other 13% of us do not. 13% of us uh, feel that religious thinking is magical thinking and um, it's wishful thinking. And so uh, we don't really trust your judgment and uh, we don't see you as rational or logical. So, um, and there's a lot of reasons why uh, w when you really 
understand science, uh, you shouldn't practice these superstitious beliefs because uh, superstitious beliefs can actually be harmful to you and others around you. Uh, for instance, when people uh, make decisions based on superstition, uh, sometimes uh, people get killed. Uh, an example of that would be uh, the witch trials, uh, you know. Um, and another problem with religion along those lines is that more people have been killed in the name of God throughout history than for any other reason. Uh, either because, you know, God told me to kill her because she was a witch, or God told Abraham to kill his sons, or whatever. Uh, people out of superstition uh, will go to the lengths of actually committing murder. Take uh, Lori and Chad Daybell, for instance, and uh, their murdered children, who were clearly murdered, and, and it seems pretty obvious that they both had knowledge of it. And uh, these are people that were highly religious and very superstitious and had some really kind of unfounded beliefs, you know, that um, and I understand you like to you like to have that feeling of that sort of woo-woo feeling makes you feel good gives you a little tingly feeling in the back of your head and and I understand it's kind of fun to indulge in but um, you really have to realize that it's 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 just you know it's it's not true and in some cases it's very dangerous um, also about astrology, I mean, some people say, but Dave, don't you know that, you know, astrology is based on science? Well, no, it's not. It's based on pseudoscience that was created thousands of years ago before people really knew what caused the planets to drift around the way they do in our sky. And so uh, it, even if it did have some kind of scientific basis then, all of that is lost now because the stars are in completely different places now than they were 4,000, 5,000 years ago. And the planets' uh, orbits are completely different than they were 4,000, 5,000 years ago. So, uh, you know, if you were born under the sign of Aquarius today, uh, it's wrong. It would have been, uh, I don't know, Capricorn or something, either Capricorn or the other one. Um, 5,000, 6,000 years ago. So instead of reading the Aquarius horoscope, you should be reading uh, Capricorn or Virgo or whatever it is. Uh, all right. So anyway, enough ranting about religion and superstition. Uh, I just, you know, I had to get it said. It doesn't mean I don't love you. And if I make fun of religion, I'm sorry if that offends you, uh, you know, if God is all powerful, then why should he demand my respect, you know, well, there's a really beautiful bird over here on this tree, I wish I could uh, show it to you. When I was a teenager, we used to hitchhike up this mountain and then ride our skateboards down back home to Santa Fe. And um, it was even scarier and more dangerous back then than it is now because the road was narrower and not as well maintained. Um, we had these huge skateboards with big, gigantic blue kryptonic wheels that would roll over just about anything so we could uh, you know roll over rocks and gravel and potholes and things like that uh, but yeah I mean we'd come down this road and doing four-wheel drifters around every corner just hoping there's not a car coming from the other direction uh, I'd say most of us are lucky that we survived it and then, of course, in the wintertime, uh, we would ditch school and get our skis and hitchhike up the mountain and ski all day and, and then come back down and 
put our skis away before our parents get home. Our skis would be dry by the time our, our parents got home.